who are the top five players in Major League Baseball? We, we talk about all those young players on the Cubs. <laughs> there, was there or was there not a time when we thought Chris Bryant was a lock to become one of the five oh, best players he was, in baseball? He was, on a, he was a, on a Hall of Fame track. He won the Rookie of the Year and the MVP in consecutive seasons. It's unheard of to start the Chris Bryant. He was Bryant on the cover now. of every magazine. He was everything. So the question is today, where we sit today, who are the five best players in Major League Baseball? That's today's green list. Here we go. Number five. Number five is Juan Soto. Two years ago, he was the best hitter in the World Series at the age of 20. Last year, he was the best hitter in all of baseball at the age of 21. No one has ever done that. No one has ever had that back-to-back. -back. I was actually toying with put, putting Soto higher on this list than this. But ultimately, I think he landed at five. But if I had to bet on someone to be moving up on this in the next year or two, I would probably start with him. Number four. Or Fernando Tatis, who I would put second, or put fourth on this list. He's number four on today's green list of the best players in baseball. Soto was five. Tatis is four. He still hasn't played 162 games. He's the only player in history with at least 35 home runs and 25 steals in his first 150 games, and he's the best defensive shortstop in the bigs. He is the best defensive shortstop in baseball, and he hit 35 home runs and 25 steals in 150 games. Now, we're going to have Alex Rodriguez on this show, and A-Rod, of course, played many of the most famous seasons of his career at third base. But the best seasons of his career came when he was the best shortstop mm -hmm. in the sport. Is Tatis on that kind of track? Does he have A-Rod kind of power is the question. I don't think that he's going to hit close to 700 career home runs, but I wouldn't put it past him given the start that he's had so far. Tatis is four. The five best players in baseball right now. Juan Soto is five. Fernando Tatis Jr. is four. Number three. Mookie Betts is three. In the last three years, he's been the best player on two different World Series champions in different leagues. A rare 5 2 player for whom, without Mike Trout, we might be saying is a generational talent. If it weren't for Trout, I think everyone would say that Mookie Betts is the best player in baseball, which might lead you to say, Greeny, then how can he only be number three? It's because other people might say that. But on this program, we take you a step farther. Number two. The second best player in baseball is Jacob deGrom. Jacob deGrom just posted the best adjusted ERA in a three-season stretch of any player in baseball history from the ages of 30 to 32. He has thrown fewer career innings than Babe Ruth did. And half the people who know baseball, don't, who know a little bit about baseball, don't even realize Babe Ruth was a pitcher. The point is, Jacob deGrom is still closer to the beginning than he is to the end. And he is not only the best pitcher in the sport, but he is, when you put the numbers together, put together a stretch that is as good as any in the history of the sport. And I know that my main man, Hembo, has me thinking that not only is DeGrom going to win the Cy Young this year, but that DeGrom is a good bet to win the MVP of the National League this year. My numbers say that among all starters in the history of baseball, he has produced more value on a per-inning basis than any of them. First on that list is Jacob DeGrom, and second on that list is Pedro Martinez. First is, is DeGrom, and second is Pedro. He's that good, and he is number two on today's green list. Number one. Number one is Trout. Mike Trout is the best player in the baseball in the last half century. Yes? I mean, is that is that a reasonable way to look at it? Depending on where you net out with Barry Bonds, he's, I think Trout is the best player to debut in the last 60 years. Here's what I will say. I net out on the side of Barry Bonds should be in the Hall of Fame, but I cannot say that based upon all, because if Barry Bonds had just been the first half of Barry Bonds' career, Mike Trout is better. Agreed. Right? Yes. So Trout is that. He has the fifth best batting line of all time. He's already generated more value than the entire careers of Reggie Jackson, Frank Thomas, or Derek Jeter. He has never in his career finished outside the top five in MVP voting <laughs> in any of his nine full seasons. And oh, by the way, even though you think he's been in the majors since roughly 1974, he turns 30 this summer. He's not even 30. Mike Trout is not just the best baseball player right now. Mike Trout is on his way to being one of the greatest baseball players on a very short list of the greatest of all time. That is today's green list. And Nuno, hashtag Nuno, the outstanding producer of this program, sent me a little note in which he wrote, here are the top-selling jerseys in Major League Baseball to start the season. Your best player is number 10. 10. 10. There are nine players whose jerseys sell better 
than Mike Trout in Major League Baseball. Mookie Betts, Cody Bellinger, Tatis Harper, Clayton Kershaw, Aaron Judge, Ronald Acuna, Francisco Lindor, Kike Hernandez, and then you get to Trout. Wow. So, I mean, that's where we are. Did you tell me Mike Trout's Q rating is 25? One in four Americans recognize his face in those Q, uh, in those Q rating tests. What One percentage of Americans would recognize the face of Derek Jeter? Three and four. Just to give, like, a 75%. He, and, and, and he's been out of the sport for years. This is the thing. I mean, Mike Trout is baseball's best player. He is a generational talent. Mike Trout, you're watching Mickey Mantle. That's who we're watching. Mickey, Mickey Mantle is playing in Major League Baseball mm. today. And nobody knows who he is. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.